silang collection sa estudyante. Ang meron, so I'm that sorry, we can... I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I, I, I can... disagree, ma'am. Ito po, ito po, lahat na mga nagsumbong sa akin. De, sir, the these issue, are the I, I don't... These think... are the list of parents na nagsumbong sa akin, iba't ibang eskwelahan sa buong Pilipinas, na kung saan sila po ay sa pinitang kinukolektahan ng mga electric fan at kung ano pang mga gamit sa eskwelahan, na meron man pong budget sa MOE ang debit for those things. Napagsabihan po ako noon na kung gusto ko pong baguhin yung pulisya ng pangolekta to PTA, gumawa na po ako ng batas. Now, I don't have to. Dahil nakita ko na po, very clear na sa akin, na meron naman pala talagang batas. Kaya lang, yung batas na yun ay hindi na-implement. Republic Act 4206, noong 1965, na inak yan, which prohibits collection and even voluntary or otherwise from elementary schools sa public schools except for Red Cross except for um, in fact the only ones that was mentioned was Red Cross now Noong 1969, RA 5546 was enacted para eh, ma-amend yung 4206. Dito po sa 5546, mas lalo naging malawak po yung prohibition sa collection. Maybe the good sponsor might want to react doon po sa dalawang batas na aking pong nabanggit. Thank you. Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Thank you, Mr. President. Um, no, here. Change. Uh, Mr. President, uh, the concern of the gentleman was raised during the hearing. And uh, the Vice President Secretary of uh, DepEd uh, responded by mentioning Department Order Number 49 series of, series of 2022, which is a no fee. No collection policy. Tama ba yan? No fee, no fee, no collection policy, uh, which which they are strictly implementing, and it was further discussed during that hearing that um, there there is uh, the PTA in almost every school that does their own fundraising efforts, and uh, it being a parent initiated um, organization, uh, they are allowed to do that. So. We, in connection with the law that His Honor pointed out, that is exactly consistent with the department order of the department. But the department order no cannot supersede... If, okay, if I may just right, continue, sorry, Your sorry. Honor. Okay. So the department order has the very same policy. No fee, no collection. The department and all their subordinates, meaning the teachers, are not allowed to initiate or to tolerate these collection efforts. But this does not prevent the parents from having their own fundraising. Uh, this system has been um, practiced for decades. Ayan, finally lumakas. This system has been practiced for decades, and it has been a, a private initiative of the parents that has allowed uh, many projects to, to see the light. No? Anything from gate, fencing, gardening, Um, events, uh, it's a PTA initiative. And I think that's why it was mentioned that uh, if there is a desire to change that policy, there must be a law because currently the DepEd order is consistent with the existing law mentioned by His Honor. Okay, Mr. President, may I ask the good sponsor kung uh, uh, sabi niya sa akin yung bang uh, department order na yon? At saan po doon sa dalawang batas na binanggit ko, RA uh, 4206 and RA 5546, alin doon na nagsasabing pinapayagan na mangulekta ang mga eskulahan o mga magulang para sa kontribisyon sa eskulahan? Can you please show it to me?
Maybe I can help the good sponsor para mas mapabilis tayo rito, if you will allow me to. Uh, Your Honor, if, if His Honor can, can, Mr. President, if His Honor can give me a minute to okay. just review, okay. and then I will be happy to yield the floor, of course, anytime. Yes, sure, session suspended for a minute. Ang point ko lamang po dito, Mr. President, Your Honor, Madam, mag-implement na tayo ng policy. Meron tayong law, then dapat it's up to the executive para ma-implement itong law. Because the last time I was said, I was informed na gumawa ko ng batas para ma-implement na raw, mag-implement ng batas. Nagagawin ko, I don't have to because meron na palang dalawang batas. Uh, Your Honor. Yes. Um, Your Honor, uh, Mr. President, uh, His Honor is correct in in uh, in his paraphrasing or, or delivering the uh, provisions of RA 5546 kung saan ho, and I will just read it no para clear yes, ang mala, maintindihan din ng mga kasamahan natin yung uh, issue po na malapit po sa puso ng ating kasamahan the s section 1 of RA 5546 sa states the sale of tickets and or the collection of contributions in any form whatsoever by any person for any project or purpose, whether voluntary or otherwise, from school children, students and teachers of public and private schools, colleges and university, universities is hereby prohibited. Tama po, sir, no? Yan, Mr. President, yan po ang uh, tinutukoy ng ating kasamahan. Tama po. Tama po ba? I agree. Yes, okay. So, uh, nung ako ho ay nakikipagdiskusyon sa DepEd, uh, aware po sila dito na bawal talaga ang... Uh, ang uh, collections of contributions in any form from school children, students, and teachers. And that is why in uh, their department order number 49 series of 2022, uh, known as the promotion of professionalism in the implementation and delivery of basic education programs and services, prohibits DepEd officials and employees from seeking contribution, support, solicitation of any kind or any kind of intervention from non-DepEd entities. It goes on to say, likewise, the department implements a no-fee collection policy wherein no fees shall be collected from learners in kindergarten up to grade 4, while fees on certain memberships may be collected from learners in grade 5 and above strictly on a voluntary basis, uh, i.e.g. Boys, Boys and Girl Scouts, Philippine National Red Cross, Parent Teachers Associations. So, ito po yata, sir, ang... Uh, implementing order na hinahanap nyo, uh, Mr. President. Uh, does this, does his own, is his honor, do I respond to his honor's question uh, by by uh, pointing out this DepEd order number 49? Thank you, Mr. President, Your Honor. Pero, can a department order supersedes a Republic Act? Uh, Mr. President, uh, in my humble legal opinion, this department order is consistent with the law. But I am very open to hear His Honor's concerns kung meron dito sa department order na inconsistent kasi isa po ako sa naniniwala na hindi talaga dapat nagsusupersede ang isang department order. And we are one with that. And I you. let the record show that the minority floor leader is nodding his head because for more than a decade, magkakasama kami always uh, always reviewing this uh, department orders. Hindi ho tayo okay. nagtotolerate na nage exist exactly. So, nagkakaisa po tayo dyan, Mr. President. Pero dito po sa RA5546, Mr. President, Your Honor, Madam, totally pinagbabawal ang any form of collections, voluntary or otherwise, except Red Cross, Girl Scout, Boy Scout, and then donors for the support of Barrio High School. And I have a definition of Barrio High School with me. Never did this uh, RA mentioned about PTA. Y yes, Your Ma Honor. Uh, we noted that the mention of PTA is now in that department order. Upon further review and discussion with the DepEd, uh, we are um, we are now um, looking at the entirety of RA five five four six, wherein it states. Yes, yes. 
Yes. Thank you. Um, Mr. President, um, uh, when we look at RA 5546, Section 1, and I will repeat, I will read it again, the sale of tickets and or the collection of contributions in any form whatsoever by any person for any project or purpose, whether voluntary or otherwise, from one, school children, two, students, and three, teachers are hereby prohibited. So in the case of the PTA, Your Honor, uh, what has been the policy of DepEd since 1969, uh, just to be clear, it is not the policy of uh, this uh, uh, administration alone, but since 1969, no, nila ang policy, is that there is a total ban on collection from the children, the school children, the students, and other teachers. But they, they recognize PTA as a separate entity that can, that are on their own, have their own rules and guidelines, and may on their own uh, come up with fine fundraisings uh, that are voluntary in nature. Fundraisings, okay. Well, I, I, just to be clear, Your Honor, okay. that is my own choice of words, That's Mr. President, in fundraising. No? Okay. I, I use it generically, po, Madam, Mr. President. Meron ba diyang batas? na kung saan, batas tayo, dinidefine ang meaning and function ng PTA? Alam niyo po ba yun? Uh, dito sa RA 5546, wala hong banggit wala. ng PTA. Tama. Wala Pero um, I, I will ask uh, DepEd if there are no, any don't, other... No, don't ask DepEd. Ako I don't bahala. need to know. Okay. Ako nang bahala. Yes, Mr. President. PD 603, December 10, 1974, dinefine ang meaning ng PTA. At nowhere here na nagsasabi ang PTA pwedeng mangulekta. Ang sinasabi rito, ang PTA isang programa samahan na para tulungan ng mga estudyante sa kanilang academic performance. Kung ano mga problema ng estudyante, ano problema ng mga magulang at teachers tungkol sa estudyante to enhance their participation sa eskwelahan, yun po yung purpose. Look at PD 603, ma'am. I'll give you a minute. PD 603, December 10, 1974. It is a forum being provided by the law para yung mga magulang at uh, mga estudyante at guro ay magkaroon ng pagkakataon mapag-usapan yung welfare ng mga estudyante. Yun pong pinakabuod. Yeah. Um, Never sir. doon sa PD na yan did mention na pwedeng mangulekta ang PTA ng contribution o collection para sa mga proyekto ng anumang mga proyekto sa isang eskwelahan. Yes. Mr. President, uh, I will respond to His uh, Honor's um, observation on the definition of PTA. Um, umpisan ko po kung ano tong PD 603. No? This is the Child and Welfare Code. Uh, familiar po tayo dyan. Um, it is a, it is a, uh, uh, it's basically a law that uh, uh, governs, um, is meant to protect children. And Section 70, ano yun? 77. Section 77, um, yeah, just to be clear, malawak ko itong batas na ito kasi ito din ho ang naging foundation ng Foster Care Act na naging basis ng mga amendments natin on foster care law. So it's a very general law, quite, um, quite detailed no, in, in various ways of protecting children. So there is a uh, section on home and school, chapter 2 po ito. And Article 77, as his, as his Honor correctly points out, uh, mentions parent-teachers association. It states every elementary and secondary school shall organize a parent-teacher association for the purpose of providing a forum for the discussion of problems and their solutions relating to the total school program and for ensuring the full cooperation of parents in the efficient implementation of such programs. All parents who have children enrolled in a school are encouraged to be active members of its PTA and to comply with whatever obligation and responsibility such membership entails. Parent-teacher associations all over the country shall aid the municipal and the local authorities and school officials in the enforcement of juvenile de delinquent control measures and in the implementation of programs and activities to promote child welfare. Mr. President, in response to His Honor's uh, concern or, or um, conclusion that the Parent Teachers Association do not have the authority to collect. Tama ho, no, sir? Mr. President, that, that is the question, no? that the Parent Teacher Association, by definition here in PD 603, do not have the authority to collect. That is the uh, question, Let correct? me rephrase what I said. Uh, Mr. President, Your Honor, I want a clear definition in our law 
that states that the PTA is allowed to collect contributions, voluntary or otherwise, saan po sa ating konstitusyon, saan po sa ating batas. Yun po gusto ko para maging malino po sa ating lahat. Yes, Dapat understood. po nandito, meron po ba? In fact, ang nakita ko lamang po, definition ng PTA, which is sabi mo very vague, general, is PD603, pinakamalapit. However, dito sa PD603, hindi po sinasabi na ang PTA ay binuo para mangulekta sa mga estudyante ang mga eskwelahan. Mr. President, Your Honor, Madam. President, I, I just needed to confer with uh, DepEd if tama po ang intindi ko. So, um, in the in in Article seven in Article seventy seven of PD six o three, which I had just read into the record, uh, as as I said, it states there that um, uh, that every elementary school shall organize ito nga hong PTA. Um, relating to the total school program to ensure full cooperation of parents in the efficient implementation of such programs to address uh, they are meant to create a forum to address the problems and, their, and the solutions. So uh, the, the practice of DepEd has been to support, the, to allow the PTA to uh, follow the mandate of Article 77, and if they need to raise funds to be able to address these problems and solutions, including um, the implementation of the programs, then they are governed by their own guidelines in, implementa in implementing those I'm, programs. I'm sorry, Mr. Including yung Atapusin ko lang po. po. Including yung fundraising. Yan po ang naging practice uh, ng DepEd since 1969 po. Practice is different from what the law says. There, yes, there, you can practice anything you want. Pwede mag-practice ang DepEd. Lahat ng klaseng practice na gusto nila. Pero dapat nandoon sa batas. Pero kung walang sa batas yan, then yung practice na yon ay labag sa batas. There Again, is actually, Mr. President, ma 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 no ma prohibition. Tadilipo. Sinabi mo kasi, Madam, fundraising so, pwede mag-fundraising ang DepEd. It's been a practice uh, through the DepEd. Magkakaroon silang fundraising under PD-603. Pero, Mr. President, Your Honor, sa PD-603, wala talaga ako makita rito, kahit na letter by letter, tinitingnan ko, wala talaga nagsabi rito na pwede mag-fundraising, na pwede humingi ng contribution, uh, humingi ng uh, um, tinatawag na voluntary contribution. Wala talaga. So, it seems to me na yung DepEd ay gumagawa-gawa ng sarili nila ng uh, guidelines sa isang batas. Gumagawa sila ng sarili ng IRR. Uh, Mr. President, I'll go back to what the Republic Act states. It prevents, it prohibits, it prohibits uh, collection and contribution from students. And so the policy of DepEd has been to allow the PTAs to follow their own guidelines wherein uh, contributions among the parents are allowed. So okay. to be clear, just to be clear, Mr. President, um, importante po na, na maliwanag yung pagka, pagsagot ko sa napaka mahalagang tanong ng ating uh, kasamahan. Uh, bawal talaga ang uh, pagkolektas na estudyante and that is being honored by um, by DepEd. In other words, hindi pwedeng maglabas ang DepEd, ang principal, ang teacher ng request or, or uh, request for contribution na ibinibigay sa estudyante. Bawal po talaga yun. Bawal. But, so kung bawal po, bakit correct. po nangungulekta pa rin sila sa mga estudyante, especially po Mr. sa mga hirap? Mr. President, I would like to clarify, never po sila nangungulekta sa estudyante. Wala okay. po silang collection sa estudyante. Ang meron, so I'm that, sorry, I'm sorry, so I, that I, we can I identify the issue. I can, no, the I issue, beg to disagree, ma'am. Ito po, Ito po, lahat ng mga nagsumbong sa akin. De, sir, the these issue, the I, I don't... These think... are the list of parents 
na nagsumbong sa akin iba't ibang eskwelahan sa buong Pilipinas na kung saan sila po ay sa pilitang kinukolektahan ng mga electric fan at kung ano pang mga gamit sa eskwelahan na meron man pong budget sa MOE ang deadbed for those things. Yes. Mr. President, first of all, may I request that that list is submitted yes, so that we can give it to DepEd kasi I believe uh, they have committed in the hearing pa lang na any violation po ay eh, iimbestigahan naman po nila. They made that commitment po. The only uh, item left for the discussion on the floor right now is yung authority mismo ng PTA. So any direct contribution or collection sa estudyante, talaga hong iimbestigahan nila. So tama, ang pagkaintindi ko, Mr. President, sa issue is so, si PTA ba pwedeng mangolekta? And ang sinasabi po sa atin ng DepEd, the policy since 1969 has been to recognize the PTA's authority to decide among themselves, they have their own rules, they have their own guidelines, to do their fundraising, that is a gener generic term that I'm using, among the parents. Hindi to sa bata, hindi apektado yung pagpasok ng bata, hindi apektado ang... Uh, ang, uh, ang uh, grade ng bata. Bakit ginagawa ng parents yun? Kasi kulang ang pondo. Yung sinabi ng ating kasamahan na nasa MOOE yan, meron yan pambili ng electric fan, idagdag ko na rin doon, ano yung mga kakulangan, di ba? yung pagpaganda ng garden, driveway, uh, entrance, kung ano paman. Lahat naman po yan nilalagyan ng MOOE. Pero if I may uh, take, uh, uh, call the attention of our chairman, uh, talaga naman hong wala na ho tayo, nagbibigay ho tayo ng maraming pondo, but uh, hindi ho talaga nakukompleto, no? In fact, ako na magsasabi, because baka may magtanong, uh, yung mga repairs, no? Pagpalagay mo ng may electric fan dun sa loob ng uh, classroom, o di kaya yung picture na pinakita ni Senator Bongo, medyo bumagsak yung kisame. Lahat po yun falls under repairs of basic facilities. Pero... Uh, natanggalan po yan ng pondo na ilipat po sa ibang pondo yan, hindi ho ng Senado. So may mga issue pong ganyan. Um, I think, I, I want to assure our colleague that uh, hanggat makakaya, uh, sinusuportahan ng ating chairman yung ating uh, recommendation to increase the MOOE. So that basic um, principle, I think everyone in the Senate supports his honor na mapondohan sana ng, ng lahat na yan. So, remaining na lang po yan, kung ano ho, hanggang saan ang kakayahan ng uh, PTA to among themselves decide to fundraise parent to parent. I cannot answer, I cannot add to my answer kasi yan po ang policy. Hindi ko naman ho kayo bobolahin, Mr. President, na iba yung policy. Yan po ang policy na ginagamit po nila. So, kung may recommendations, suggestions ang ating kasamahan, uh, this representation is happy to relay at nandito naman ang DepEd para pakinggan ang mga suggestion ng ating kasamahan. Thank you, uh, Mr. President. Um, thank you, the good sponsor, uh, Honorable uh, Congresswoman uh, Pia Caetano, uh, Senator Pia Caetano, sorry. Um, thank you. Uh, pero gusto ko lang pong balikan, uh, Mr. President, uh, Your Honor, yung sinabi mo, it's been a long time practice. Tama? Policy po. Pa policy, okay, sige. I stand corrected. It's been a long time policy na pinapractice sa DepEd for so many, 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 many years. Na hindi ka pa, hindi ka, ilan sa atin hindi pa pinapanganak dito. Of course, ako pinanganak na ako dyan. Pero dapat, a policy should be dictated by the law. So is there a law na kung saan sinasangayunan ng policy na sinasabi nyo matagal ang pinapractice ng mga taga-DepEd? Hmm. Dapat lahat ng mga bagay na ginagawa sa ating mga eskulahan, lalo sa DepEd, na who's receiving a lot, lots and lots of budget by the billions, dapat nandoon nakasaad sa batas. Hindi yes. pwede po silang gagawa-gawa ng sarili ng policy na wala po sa batas. Dapat lahat po ng pulisiya nandoon po. Mr. President, may I respond to that um, statement? Um, Mr. President, as I said, no, kaya ho ako nag-abalang ipaliwanag na ang PD-603 is a very broad law uh, intended to protect the rights of children. Kaya nga po, ano eh, um, uh, Child and Youth Welfare Code ang pangalan nito. And there is just one chapter on home and school, which is only two articles. So, dito po sa articles na to, at binasa ko naman on record, yung, uh, yung uh, pag-create ng PTA, wala na hong detalye yun. The fact, Mr. President, that there is no prohibition, uh, that there is no, there is no um, provision that 
specifically or expressly prohibits the PTA from uh, engaging in certain acts to pursue their mandate. Yes, in, there is. In, in, Mr. President, if I may just continue. My statement is the fact that there is no provision that expressly prohibits the PTA from pursuing their mandate is in itself an accepted principle that there is no violation. It is a rule of statutory construction that what is not expressly or impliedly prohibited by law may be done. So yan ho ang ating uh, statutory constructions when it comes to prohibited acts. So pag sinabi po natin bawal ito, then we need to produce that law that prohibits it. And so we do have uh, yung dalawang RA na binanggit naman ng ating kasamahan. Meron nga hong RA na nagbabawal. Yes. But that is why I have been repeatedly explaining that since 1969, ang uh, implementation ng ating DepEd dito, eh, they believe that they have been implementing this in the true spirit of the law na nagsasabing bawal mangolekta sa bata. They cannot um, they cannot collect contributions from school children, students, and teachers. Yun ho ang specific wording of the law. Exactly. Ah, sige, pagbigyan ko po, I yield my floor to the, Mr. Uh, President, majority and minority yes, leader. Yes, uh, minority floor leader. Thank you. With the permission of my, of, uh, my colleagues. Uh, the, the good sponsor mentioned uh, statuto statutory construction, which I used to teach in law school. Uh, we have to harmonize, and I'm, I'm thankful for the discussion. At least you, we brought we brought out the RA five five forty six, and then uh, Article seventy seven of the Child and Youth Welfare Code. Kung makikita po natin yung RA, bawal mangolekta sa bata. Okay. Actually, sino kina kolektahan mo kung nangolekta ka sa bata of elementary school age? Hindi ba magulang din? So if you look at the spirit of the law, you look at the spirit of the law, bawal mangolekta sa bata at sa kanyang magulang. Ang proviso sa dulo, kung out of the goodness of the heart of the parent, willingly, without any prompting or solicitation, magdo-donate siya sa, sa school, hindi bawal yun. Okay. And then, if you look at Article 77, shall organize the PTA, in-enumerate ngayon yung purpose ng PTA. Wala po dun because it should, it should solicit funds to financially help the school. Wala rin po dun sa Article 77 yun. So if we harmonize the two, the two provisions, not only looking at the letter, but also looking at the spirit, I would tend to agree with the point of our interpolator, Senator Tulfo, na bawal. And if there is a department order na may interpret na pwede for the PTA to prompt or solicit or to ask contributions from the parents, let's review this department order because in my humble opinion, it violates the law, Mr. President. So thank you for the time. The indulgence of our colleagues, may, may, may we recognize, Mr. President, our Senate President Pro Temp uh, for her uh, interjection. Yes, yes. Our distinguished Senate President Pro Tempore, Senator Lauren de Gard is recognized. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, may I humbly suggest that since the GAA is the most important piece of legislation, it may be applicable only for the next 12 months, however, but you can keep on making it a special or a general provision. If it is the advocacy of the good gentleman, the interpolator, and if the vice chair and the chair would agree, then perhaps a uh, draft of a special provision uh, to reiterate an old law or a policy that may be general but may apply to that may be reiterated in a special provision for the debt and budget to use a better word, prohibit, not encourage, uh, no forced contribution when applicable, when reasonable, I leave it to you how to draft it. If based on the conversations, discussions I've been hearing, while it is a very important thing and there are many other issues in the education sector, perhaps the way forward for the solution would be a special provision. If the chair and the vice chair would agree, that would refer to policies, department orders, and the old law from the 1970s, which I heard. So that's my humble suggestion, Mr. President. Uh, how that provision will sound, uh, will be drafted, I leave it to the body. But it may prohibit or not, at least not encourage the contribution, especially 
from the poor families. Libre na nga ang matrikula, pero kung yung hinihingi ng contribution ay higit pa sa libreng matrikula, kawawa rin naman. So pwede natin gawin parte yan ng ating batas na ginagawa. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, 